Welcome and welcome back. Hey, what is up, everybody? Today we got another K bar. Um, so we've seen, uh, well, I've seen on, uh, <laughs> uh, well, I've been watching on YouTube and seeing videos of it. And I said, you know, I just got to have this one. I got to put this one in the collection. Uh, we're big fans of K bars. Um, yep. I have a couple of K bars on my side. She has a couple of K bars on her side of the collection. Yep. And yep. Uh, this one I bought for my side of the collection. Yep, so, yep. Uh, I seen a lot, like I said, I seen a lot of reviews on it. And people were just like, it just looked wicked. I just had to put, I, I love tactical knives. So uh, I just had to get it. So, um, yeah. Okay, oh. so it came in the bubble wrap. That's inevitable. Um, this is the first time we opened it. Um, uh, she went into town this morning, it's Saturday morning. She's the one who went into town and uh, uh, got the pack, we went and did the mail runs and did yep. our, some of our shipments and everything too. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so beautiful knife. It's um, it's got weight. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is not gonna be a knife that I'm gonna be able to utilize for very long, just because it's heavy. Uh -huh. Well, it's heavy to me. I don't know. I have small hands and weak wrists. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's a it's a nice weighty knife. Let's see the balance. Yeah, the balance on it's like yeah, right there, using two fingers. Yeah. This is a long knife. This is a this is a big knife. Yeah. Um, look at that point on that. That is really nice. Though. I mean, look uh, at that. I mean, I could throw this, but I probably wouldn't choose. <laughs> He's I probably, probably never gonna throw I, this. I, yeah, I probably <laughs> wouldn't choose this K bar to throw. Um, like I said, I got other ones, but this one comes with that Krayton handle, that rubber handle on it, so it's gonna take a lot of more of that impact and and weather resistant. Um, you know, and grippy. That, yeah, it's pretty grippy too. Yeah. Um, for what it is, a little closer look at it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. if the apocalypse happens, all bets are off, but... <laughs> yeah, and it gives you that 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 that, that pommel there, like K-Bar does, like the old school knives, when they put the round pommels, this one does like the, the flat pommel, but uh, it swells out like that, and it's just, it's just great to get your to get your finger back in there where it kind of just it? lives, you know? Um, yeah. And, yeah, there's nice. the tang, I mean, let's mm -hmm. see if I can get it to focus. They put, yeah, there it is right there. So, full tang. Mm -hmm. um, and the coating they do on this, we have, we have some pretty uh, impressive lighting here in the kitchen. And, uh, I mean, you could barely see any reflection off that. If this was, like, any of my other K-bars, like, I have a mirror polished one. I mean, you'd just be seeing my <laughs> reflection. It's like a mirror, you know, a mirror. But this, the, the coating they do on this is... It's, really, yeah, it's really smooth. stealth. Yeah, smooth and stealthy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Smooth and stealthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, here we go. Let's put this down. We'll take a little closer look at it. Um, yeah. So you got, like, this uh, trailing point. Uh, they call it a modified Tonto. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, that's what it is. Yeah. The K-Bar modified, modified Tonto. tonto. And, uh, I'm not so even see. sure if it says that anywhere on the box. Yeah, K-Bar modified Tonto. So this yeah. is more the the, uh, the, the the Japanese style, unlike the American square style Tontos. Yes. Um, it does not say anywhere on the box. Which uh, I, I have a I have a cold steel that uh, a Voyager that I, I should have got out of the collection, but uh, <laughs> we've been so busy packing things up and with the with our move and everything, I got yeah. a lot of a lot, a lot we got a lot of our collection just put away right now. Um, yeah, but, um, just in prep for moving. Yeah, we've been so busy. So um, this is uh, this came this morning. So I said, you know what, we're gonna go ahead and shoot a video on this, and I think this is the model here. Yeah, twelve twenty eight modified Tonto, um, made mm -hmm. in the USA. Uh, so you got 12 inches of 1095 Crovan, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Amazon says it's called the 1266 modified Tonto. Okay. That might be what it is. Yeah. Good. And you can get it on Amazon for around $100, $91.97. If you're a Prime member, you're not going to be paying any shipping, but you're still going to pay tax. Obviously, if you're not a Prime member, you're going to be paying both of these things. So. This is a big knife. It is. Um. It looks, it looks like you got some, let's see here if it's a, yeah, I, don't, I think that's a, that's just a half, half flat grind there, um, flat saber grind, I mean, um, then you got that swedge there, let's see that swedge, let's see if that, that spine is actually straight, I got that pink line right there on, let's see here, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty straight, I love these knives that have the straight spines on it, it gives it that old traditional look, like mm -hmm. with some of them. Um, let's see here, like, uh, like, uh, like I, I don't know, like, uh, I just love the old, sh the, the straight spines like that. Yeah. Um, it gives it really cool. I had an Olsen knife like that, and, and, and it had like a, like a seven inch, eight inch blade like that, Ooh. and the, the, the spine was straight, and, uh, 
and uh, I just love that look. Yeah. Um, I, think, this, I think between the length of the blade and the weight and the handle, this wouldn't be a knife I could use for an extended period of time, simply yeah. because I no. have weak wrists. Yeah, yeah, she, you're it, tiny. Everybody's different. I'm small, and I have bad hands and wrists, so. Yeah, yeah she, has, she has bad wrists. Um, we're getting old. <laughs> uh, I've been in construction. I'm only not, I'm, I'm only 100 pounds, uh, but I've been construction uh, for most of my life. I've, you know, I'm a mason by trade, um, and uh, you know my, my wrists are small too. So, uh, but, but he's uh, strong. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty strong for my size, and this is a big knife. If you guys were thinking about or interested in this knife, I'm not saying don't get it, especially if you get a good deal like I did on this. But uh, because it's definitely going to inspire that confidence in that tactical situation or that situation that you're in. To, and you're most likely going to come out on top here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wearing this, I'd probably wear it on the hip. Um, I, I've seen, uh, seen this guy, he wore it on uh, his leg, which I, that'd, be, that'd be really cool too. Yeah. Uh, we'll take a look at the sheath and just see, uh, 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 just, just to see what that's about to see how, you know, the possibilities of uh, rigging it, how you guys like it. Um, yeah, yeah, there it is. Made in New York. Uh, other oh, sides yeah. all. Yeah, just... Super stealthy knife, there it is. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, t K bar, let's see here. That, yeah, you get that six inch swedge. Here, yeah. take the camera. Yep, got it. And uh, actually, here's my USN. This is a vintage one, stack leather here. Lost the pommel on it. Um, I welded that nut on there just real quick, just uh, just uh, so I wouldn't lose the handle. Uh, but yeah, there, there's that one. And I, I think this kind of, I, I feel like this one has a little bit of a convex grind, but I could be wrong there. Um, you know, but like a saber grind, um, and then it has that clip point on it, and we'll do a little size comparison there, just to see how big these are together. Yeah. And uh, I lost a little bit of the tip on that one. But I mean, it's old. Yeah. So that's the standard K bar. Mm-hmm. And, and I uh, have a small one. So that one's about another inch in in blade length. I mean, you get about a looks like a half inch of ricasso on that one, and about like a quarter on this one. And this is hers. <laughs> um, this is the short Tonto, oh no, excuse me, the short, uh, just the short, uh, the short, uh, standard, uh, yeah. drop clip point, just like mm -hmm. that one. It's perfect for my hand, but I mean. It has serrations on it. Yes, it has partial serrations. Yeah, and your hand, it looks great. Yeah, I love it. This is, if I was going to carry a fixed blade knife all the time, okay. this would be the one out of my collection that I would carry. And it came with an ordinary. See, I like this leather sheath yeah, here too. Yeah, it's just I, your regular. I mean, for for me, I like I like putting these, sheath. just dropping these size fixed blades right in my front pocket. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll attach them to my belt and then drop it in my pocket. Uh, but yeah, see me, I would ha I have to wear this. You know, I can't. Yeah. They don't make good pockets in women's pants. Yeah, that that's nice, and what this is great is that it has enough heft to it where it doesn't feel cheap or or, or but it, it's light. Yes, it's uh, light, but it's sturdy and I guess uh, I yeah to. you got that you got the that so let's put that one next to the standard one there mm -hmm. yeah see so you got the standard one the short one that's that's from her side and then uh the new modified tonto one but yeah. so just just to show you guys that if you're going to get this i mean just remember that if you're thinking about carrying this i mean you gotta really think about carrying it yeah <laughs> I mean, really, it's, it's, really it's, think it's, about it's, it it's a big knife it is let's see this this one might even almost fit on here let's see yeah yeah it does <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this modified Tonto is almost 13 inches. That's handle and blade. Uh -huh. The blade itself is about 8 inches. Yeah, this one has that black coating on it. It's super yeah, smooth. Yeah, super um, stealthy. Yeah, let's, let's, let's cut some stuff up real quick. Okay. Um, I will take the camera. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let me, let's me let show them real quick with paper. Okay. And then I'll show them the sheath. Let's just do some real quick paper cut testing. Okay. Here. All right, let's do some piercing real quick. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. So, like a shark. <laughs> yeah, super sharp. Ooh, on, on that one. You can't do that. Yeah. Wow, that thing is just. We got a storm coming sharp. in. I don't want to have to take you to the hospital. Yeah, you can hear the <laughs> the wind chimes outside going off. Let's try hers real quick. Doesn't. Let's try in this in, in the serrations there. Let's see if we get one of those. Yeah. So yeah. let's try here. Yep, yeah. so that's sharp here. Yeah, so, uh -huh. I mean, sharp enough, and uh, with that clip point, I mean, you no problem piercing. Yeah. Yeah, no problem with piercing that. I mean, mm -hmm. 
sh smaller knife, but uh, yeah, still. It'll definitely get someone off me. Oh, definitely, yeah. Um, It'll do what I need it to do. Same package, that one, just just smaller. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's uh, try some rope cut. Okay. All right. Rope. Yeah. Here we go. Just some standard paracord here. Just a little tiny pinch grip. Let's just try a pull on it. Just just pulling. Yeah. Like butter, just right through that. That was nice. <laughs> nice clean cut. Um, I like the sound it makes. That that pierce right here. This. Yeah, right through the just nice. Nice push cut there. That piercing penetration is gonna give you a nice clean cut. I mean, so that if that's I mean if that was someone's jack, I mean, yeah, I'm just saying that's yeah. gonna go through anything you, you it faces. Yeah. All right, let's just try a, just a wow. slice. Yeah. So let's do that and let's let's do it, do it fine up here, just in the tip, just in the belly right there. Yeah. Ooh. Nothing. So let's nice. go put that one down. Let's that try nice. let's try hers out. Do a little tiny one here. Serrations have not been used. So I could still, I could, you know, with it being smaller, I mean, I mean, the tip is still, here, well, I'll hold the tips together. Yeah, so right through that, no problem. This is only okay. sharpened on one side. Yeah. Um, let's try the belly here. Yeah. Nice. There you go. And then let's just try some fishing string inside of the serrations. Yeah. Have you ever used these serrations? No. Okay, so yeah, let's try it in some string there. Yeah, no problem. Oh, oh wow, I actually skipped. It skipped. Okay, let's try here. It might have been just uh, user error. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, like I said, that might just be more just user <laughs> error. There. I mean, it's not a very big piece of string. Let's try it one more time. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh there yeah. it is. Yeah, so the serrations on this aren't the best, but uh I mean it is what it is. I'm you know, if I was sawing down on something I need on some hard plastic, mm -hmm. I'm sure that's gonna saw through it. Um at least get me going to where uh you can put a fine edge there. Yeah. Um, or score it at least. Um yeah, so the spine on there is not very sharp. It's uh it's kinda rounded. The swedge is pretty uh pretty pretty rounded too, even though I know you could sharpen that. Mm -hmm. Um okay. Which I sharpened the swedge on that one, and this one's checked the spine here. Yeah, so that one's pretty rounded too. Yep, and the swedge is pretty rounded too. You can probably see it glowing there. Yeah. Yeah. That tip though, just real quick, let me just hold these tips up together. The small one. Yeah. yeah. Because this one is thinner. I mean, it's not. You know, the, the yeah. thickness of the blade is. Uh -huh. No, let's see here. It's only. Let's see here. Yeah, the thickness of that's only. It's only a, about. A little shy of an inch. Mm -hmm. The thickness of that one is, yeah, it's a little, a little over an inch there. Mm -hmm. A little over, yeah. So you're about an inch and a quarter on that. So I mean, if you get the short one, you're really looking at the same. See if you lay them top. Yeah. You're almost getting the same effect there in a way. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, just in a really small package. You know what'd be yeah. cool <laughs> if they made this short one. If they made this short K bar. Mm -hmm. in, a, in a modified Tonto version. Oh, I would get it in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah, no doubt, Just for real. It, 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 it would go on my other hip. There you go, K-Bar. One on my right, one on my left. There you go, K-Bar. <laughs> go ahead and make the uh, this modified Tonto in a, in a short version, and uh, I bet it'd be a hit. Oh, um, it would be a big hit. Especially, yeah, maybe losing the serrations, which, uh, you know, every knife has, you know, yeah. has, I'd rather have them than not have them. Um, but in a tactical situation, I mean, that's a big knife. Um it, 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 I just don't think you would need that. It, yeah, it, I, I think if you... If which you, it gives it like an, you know, more like an everyday yes. user kind of another... Aspect. A, another ability, you know. Yeah. There, you want to check out the sheath for your new knife? Yeah, let's go ahead and check that sheath out real okay. quick. Rolling on 14 minutes here. Okay. Okay, yeah. Wrap that. So, that yeah. Over there. I think in the, the description they say it's just plastic. Yeah, uh, they call it a uh, triton. No, I think that's the handle. Oh, that's the handle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right so. so, yeah, you got a really large sheath here. Mm -hmm. so this Overall, it's a big package. You know, knife and sheath. Yep. So, yeah, nine inch there. And then you know, with that, with it full extent with the nylon and everything you're looking at. Almost 15 inches. A 15 inch package. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty big. Yeah. Here you go. Hold the camera real quick. <laughs> yep. 
All right, here we go. So you got all the attachments. I, I got a tech lock that come off another K bar, um, a, a, a standard, a modern style USN knife. So I might try that on here. Kind of, and it, it, it actually sits nice and flush back here when you do put the tech locks on here. The way that these uh, bridge out like this, they st they step out. Um, those tech locks kind of fit in, like like right here. Um, and it makes it actually still really compact, which is cool, but it just adds a little bit more weight. Of so, uh, and so like I said, I mean, the, here we go, uh, ways you're going to wear it. I mean, you know, I don't, I, don't I, really, I really don't know. Like I said, I'd probably put this on my hip. Um, some guy puts it on his boot, I mean, on his leg. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, nylon sheath there through the belt. Um, really just about this plastic here. Let's see here. You got a uh, button. Yeah, button. Snap. Snap button here. Let's see if there's anything on it. Nothing. Nope. Okay. We got another button here. The back of this. And buttons here. Gotcha. Okay. Let's back this up just a little bit. All right. Let's see here. Back the thing up. <laughs> All right. Let's see if that, that snaps in real quick. So you can see there. Oh, yeah. Yep. There it is. And let's... A little bit of rattle, right. but not as much as I would expect from... Well, I don't how have, heavy the blade is, true, and also yeah. you don't have it snapped in. Yeah, I don't have. I mean, it is snapped in, guys. Yeah, I, I got it I mean, upside down. Um, so to draw this, I mean, you just have to push back there, and then it just pulls back out like that. And then uh, let's see here, like that. And it didn't scrape against the other side, so that was cool. Um, let's see here, just. Yep. Yeah. And it didn't take a lot of force to do that either. It didn't take a lot of force to so uh, to pull to pull it out either. So. Um, uh, you know, left-handed, however you're going to wear it, you know, it, it does have that ability where it's ambidextrous. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. There good it job, is. Good job, Yeah, good job with that. Um, that. Make a small one so that we, we can wear it. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Okay, that snaps in like that. That's All really right. tight. Yeah. Let's see here. All right. There we go. Now, let's, let's see it. Let's see, let's see if we can hear it real quick. I got to put two hands on this thing. <laughs> Wave that 15, 15 incher. <laughs> Two handed. It was a little bit, but not yeah. much. Yeah, I mean, you're I, not, mean, I mean, yeah, you're not sneaking up on Batman with this thing, but yeah, I mean, no one's gonna hear that though. Let's, let's just real quick hear the draw. But you can be stealthy about I mean, you, it. Yeah, you can. There's a you could be stealthy about it. Yeah. What's great is that 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 edge doesn't uh, hit the other side. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I don't know if that's a uh, type of grind that is. I think it's just a, a saber flat grind, but wicked nonetheless. And I'm happy to put it in the collection. Well, there it is. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the uh, the video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Thanks.